Hello, I'm Zarnix, and let's play City Skylines. We are today going to do a, a tutorial on the mod Forest Brush, and this is a great mod, one of the, my favorite mods to use, and you can get it on the Steam Workshop by searching Forest Brush. Uh, what it does is it allows you to have a brush, let me show you real quick, that places a whole bunch of trees all at once, and it gives you a variety of trees. So let's take a look at how to use this. So there are different ways to navigate this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the whole box here. We have an interface here that shows the brush selection here. You can pick different uh, brushes that maybe you have. Like here I have swamp one that is pretty much grass. I've gone in and done quite a few of these. This is a grass one that is really just a dense grass. And then let's do one more. I'll show you uh, flowering mitts. So a whole bunch of flowers. So you can set those up yourself. Then you can go over to toggle uh, these, toggle the different things. So like the trees panel, the options panel, and the shapes panel. That pretty much just changes the size of your window. If you want to make it smaller, you can set your brush and then make it smaller. And then you can just switch between the different brushes. I like to have them all out open just because it makes it a little bit easier. Now in the tree list panel, you can see you have different options. Say I want to add this tree. I'll hit the checkbox, and then you have different probabilities down here. And the slider is the probability of that tree appearing. So let's say that we have, if we have everything equal or in the same probability, then it will just distribute them equally. But if you want, say, let's see if I can find uh, this one probably won't have oh it does have stuff on there okay um say autumn oh is that it wow i have a lot of brushes that have or like i have a lot of trees on this map that i was not expecting okay well let's do that so this waterfront one is almost all just this one grass if i were to add say a juniper tree at the same probability you can see that it shows up about equally but if I were to lower this to, say, 10, it won't show the juniper very often, but it should eventually. It, there's one, it showed up. So that lowers the probability that they will appear. Now, the other thing you can do uh, is do a search. But before I mention that, let's go in and delete this. And I want to also mention that there is a limit of 100 trees per brush. Now you can do a search by going down here to search and there are different ways that you can search. You can search by an author, say Mr. Mason. These are all trees by Mr. Mason. Or if you want to do a search for Pedelmo, those are all ones by P Pedelmo or Gray Flame. These are all ones by Grayflame. Those are all great tree creators, by the way. You should check them out. Then you can also do a search by texture size. So let's say we want to search for 512 pixels. All of these will have a texture that is at most 512 pixels on its widest side, or uh, its biggest dimension. Or you could do a search for 1,000 tries and that will maximize things to less than a thousand tries if you did 100 tries these are very low uh, uh the these trees are very low tries and they will not take up much performance from you from your machine or you can combine terms like here let's do pine pidelmo 512 pips 200 tries so these are uh, trees that have the word pine in them by Pedelmo, and they meet the texture and tries limit that I have set. So those are different things that you can do. Another thing you can do is you can go into the options for the game, find the mod, and then you can hit hide vanilla trees. There's a few other great uh options here that you can take a look at they're pretty much self-explanatory like how to sort and stuff like that but the vanilla one is particularly useful so now only 
custom trees are showing up on the list itself. You have to be careful though to make sure that you have subscribed to vanilla trees, other, or not vanilla, but uh, custom trees. Otherwise, your menu will have nothing there if you select hide vanilla. So, other things you can do. Let's see, we're back on the tropical roadside brush here. You can change the size of the brush. So now it's a tiny brush. You can change the strength of the brush, which is how many trees show up when you click and hold the button. See, there are not very many. If I put the strength really high, just one click makes a whole bunch show up. You can change the density. So if we make it very dense, this is best shown with grass. Make it very dense. It's very densely in there. If we put it very low, they're not very uh, close together. So density makes them, uh, shows how close the trees are together. Strength is how many trees appear when you're painting. Then you can also set it to auto density and it will decide how many trees you, uh, how many trees would be optimal for that area. I actually like to set the density myself and have a little bit more control, but uh, I do have a machine that allows me to pretty much do whatever I want and not have to worry about uh, a tree count and stuff like that. So just make sure you pay attention to that. Then there are different shapes that you can do too. You can have the circle shape, which is what I like to use. You can do a triangle and then they only show up in that triangle. Or you could do like a, a splotchy thing here, like that. You could do this sort of thing. Or you could even do like this, and then you get like a variety a little bit. It, it's just different ways to do things. Or this is a good one too. You could come down and let's say we do flowering mix. get a field pretty quickly here just click and hold to fill it in and they're planted in a row now that didn't work too well because we have one thing here but if we were to go and let's do a new brush and we just want junipers and then we do this brush tool click and hold and it should fill in all of that pretty well so now let's take a look at that. So now they're all in a line, mostly quite well, actually. And not quite so well this way, but they are perfectly in a line that way. That could be good for making a little farm or something like that. So then another quick thing to see, you can delete a brush by just hitting this minus. Yes, I want to close or delete that one. So then one other thing to show you if we put the size down to one, then it shows us we're planting one of the trees at a time. And that is good. But what is also useful is that if you have that, you can hold down shift and it will allow you to place things where you wouldn't normally be able to place them. Now, of course, right now, it's not doing that very well. I don't know why. It... So it's supposed to do this supposed to toggle on I wonder why it's not working it was working before I started doing the tutorial but anyway that is another thing that you're supposed to be able to do but that is it for the uh, forest brush I really like how it works and you can really see that I have used it a lot at least I've used it a lot on this map we can come in here and kind of refill this. So I had deleted some in order to give you the look. But anyway, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I hope you stick around for more and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.